you can get a good idea of what he looks like, what he does, and who he is, and I think that that's, this is a good profile. It Wait, that's kind of fun. How did he do that? Why am I explaining this? I'll probably cut this out later. <laughs> Welcome to my critiquing Tinder profiles video. I'm going to be critiquing them with using the 10 tips, online dating tips for men, and like seeing, showing you guys good and bad examples of profiles that are likely to get more matches and profiles that aren't likely. I'm not here. This isn't a who's attractive contest. This is a, why did he choose this picture? What is the point of this? Like, I'm going to be critiquing their photo choices and I'm going to be critiquing what they think is gonna be attracting women. And yeah, so this is me just implementing those tips and showing you guys some examples. If you are one of the men that happened to pop up on my iPad. I'm so sorry <laughs> that you're being publicly displayed like this. These are public profiles, so it's perfectly legal for me to do this. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize ahead of time. I am not trying to be mean or rude. This is just all my personal opinion. And so yeah, don't come after me, don't kill me, don't sue me. Let's get started. Okay, so first we have Andy. So I put the age to all ages i got tinder plus also and i'm gonna be swiping no on everybody new location so that i don't you know swipe on people locally <laughs> let me go to should we do la man this is so funny <laughs> why am i explaining this i'll probably cut this out later <laughs> oh i'm nervous David here. You are taking a look at David. For several reasons, David, this first picture, okay, the first photo that you show is so fucking important because this first picture is literally the worst angle of like, he's you don't know if he's attractive or not yet. And so right away, I don't think I would even keep looking at his pictures. I would just swipe on him. I would just be like, nope, but we're gonna go through and look at his pictures to see if he gets better. Okay, next picture, way better. Smiling, good angle, he's in his car, he's going somewhere. Nice. Um, that's not the worst. Body pictures aren't bad. Good face. The body angles, I don't think that like, that's a good way to show your body. If I was to take a shirtless picture, I would set my phone up somewhere else because we don't know if that's really his body. See, this picture is better because it shows more of his full body. I wouldn't do a mirror selfie. If you're going to do a shirtless picture, make sure you are on a beach or at a gym or doing like a physique kind of update sort of look. This necessarily like, so that one's not that bad. I wouldn't do this picture at all. For one, we don't know who you are. I don't want to date a stomach. I want to date a person and I want to date a man. <laughs> Just fix those two things, this shows his style, so that's fine. But for the most part, he's not that bad. Okay, this Andrew kid, doing good because he shows a hobby, he's showing that he does things. It's a decent face photo where we can kind of get a picture of what he looks like. The first photo should most likely be a face photo is what I always bet with. And then if they like your face and they wanna check out the rest of you, then they can keep going. Uh, that's a good one because if he would have put this one first, I would have been like, what are you hiding behind those sunglasses? Um, I think that in order to establish trust, you can't act like you're hiding something. So that guy that just took a picture of his chest from right here, that wasn't a good idea just because for one, we don't know if that's you. For two, you look like you're hiding something. And for three, it's just not flattering at all. Um, see, he shows his dog, so he has a dog. Good picture by some pumpkins. He shows that he's into art. Good face picture again, decent body selfie. Um, it's a little flirtatious and it shows that you are confident in yourself, but if he had five pictures that looked just like this, I would be concerned. But yeah, for the most part, he's doing good. Solid man, okay. I can't believe these are people in California. I'm so intrigued now about Californians. <laughs> um, Emilio looks nice. Good front picture. I wouldn't do black and white ever for these kind of photos, just for profile, because you're just trying to show yourself and your best self and represent yourself. So we need to be able to see you fully. And so that probably, and he's frowning darkly at night in the forest. That's a little sketchy. 
Um, it shows that he has a skill, he has his guitar out. Another dark picture in the woods. Why are you in the woods at night all the time? It's a little strange, <laughs> just using. Um, and a decent face picture, again, that angle is not the best because it's, it's just not emphasizing or looking like presentable as much. But it's not that bad. The face isn't aggressive. I hate it when guys like are literally frowning or like being aggressive in their photos. So that's not that bad. It's just like he's just chilling. He's not the worst. I He's good, yeah, for the most part. He just, not as many pictures in the woods, take more in the daylight. And then bright light presentable is what, what's best. This guy's good. I know it's a shirtless picture first, but he can get away with showing off his body because he's at a certain event. He's doing something. You can tell that he just got done running or doing some sort of sporting event. He's really proud of himself because he got a medal. So that's a good one. That's a good kind of flex. That's not an obvious flex. Nice face picture. Good picture of the things that he does for a living. Um, he's a pretty adventurous. You can tell that he's very active. So we get an idea of like, if I dated him, would he take me places? Would I work out with him? Would I do this? A nice face photo, a lot of activities. You can get a good idea of what he looks like, what he does, and who he is. And I think that that's, this is a good profile. And I know that some people feel like, because this photo is obviously a professional photo, taking photos in the ocean, on the ocean. He obviously had a GoPro of some sort. So don't think that you have to go and buy all this equipment to take good pictures. You can just do it on your phone and have, go on like, like go get one of your girlfriends or girl you're crushing that like has friend zoned at you and ask her, hey, can you come help me take some Tinder profiles? Because that's a good excuse to hang out with her, but she doesn't feel like it's a date and she doesn't feel like it's weird. And it's also, I think that's a good idea. Find a cute girl and, or a sister or your mom or another dude, like find someone to take some pictures of you because it's a good bonding moment and it's just a fun alternative activity to do other than like your regular day life. So it could be a fun thing anyway, yeah. So, so far Kyle's doing good. This is a cool photo, but like, again, it's a little bit more on the edgy side. Um, if you're more of an edgier person, that's fine. But your first photo should be a good, accurate display of what you look like the majority of the time or just like a nice photo of you. This one's just more artistic. Um, and you can't see his face. I don't wanna date just one side of you. I don't wanna date just your eyeball. Like I, ha I don't even know what this kid looks like yet. And I'm three photos in and I have no idea what he looks like. Cause this photo, you can't see his full face. You can't see his full face. You can only see his eyeball, his other eyeball. <laughs> oh my God, what is he thinking? Okay, that's a good view, but he has his baby picture up, which is adorable. Like that shows that he like loves his childhood, remembers his childhood, cherishes his childhood. It's cute, it's cute. Um, that one's kind of nice. That one's kind of nice. So these three photos, I think he should have put first and not the weird ones of just half his face. I wanna date a full man. I don't need half a man, okay? <laughs> Other than that, I would have put like, this picture first. This picture is just kind of a bad angle and kind of a bad look. It's more something to throw on your Instagram in between a lot of other nice pictures. I don't know. Like that's not something that you trust automatically, especially because we just haven't like understood you quite yet. Oh, that's kind of cool because it swipes through like that. Wait, that's kind of fun. How did he do that? Whatever, it's kind of artistic. Maybe someone would be into that. Um, I just want to understand fully what someone looks like I still don't have that good of an idea as much. This one a little bit better because you got a view of his body. It's like overall the profile, I think eventually creates the picture, but it like took me a while to swipe through and kind of understand it. And not a lot of women are gonna take the time to do that because most people are swiping quickly. So if they just see this first, they're gonna be like, nope. Um, good upfront picture, obviously sunglasses on, but he has the sunglasses on in the next picture. So it's not too big of a deal. This is just a bad picture, just like, I don't know, just make normal faces. But that's a good picture of a body because it's far away showing you. A little bit of humor with the Mexican, like with the uh, sombrero and mustache. It's kind of nice, yeah, that one's not that bad. Maybe a little cultural appropriation if you're not Mexican, but it's fine. <laughs> um, 
This is a little bit of a weird picture. He's mostly showing the chair and the organ and not him, but you still kind of get a picture of him. So that's a good upfront face picture. He isn't smiling, but it's still a nice relaxed look that where I'm not thinking he's a serial killer. Um, this is a weird photo. Was he trying to emphasize this? Did he get a new haircut? And is he showing off the haircut? What's he doing with this? Um, I just don't understand how that could be used to attract someone. You could definitely utilize the small photo opportunities that you have. And so I wouldn't have put this one in. I would have replaced it with a nicer photo of you standing up with a group of friends or being involved with other people. This one's nice, but I don't know what you're doing. Like, are you really into organs? Cause that looks like a piano organ kind of a, I don't know. It's just a little bit confusing. That one's a nice photo. I would replace this one. And I definitely would replace that one because it's just not, you're way over to the side. Like, make sure you're in the middle, up in front. This is about you. This is your profile. I'm not here to date that golden chair. <laughs> I'm here to date a person, not a chair. Um, anyway. Okay, this one's nice. You know, good picture. He's hiking. Oh, he's with his friends and you get it. You know that the guy in the middle is the guy in the picture. So there's no confusion. That's him right there. That's him in the middle. He shows that he's in the army. That's nice. He shows good pictures with his friends um, in a suit. Put a picture of you in a suit and that would instantly get girls into you. Like if you're more of an edgier guy, but you want to be show that you have more sides to you and that you're more of a dynamic human being, throwing in a photo of you super dolled up in a nice suit with a good haircut is so good to show because you see he's kind of like a rugged guy. And then bam, sexy, nice dressed up, nice dressed up. It's good, it will get people to like, you know, be into it, it's fine, good job. This is a good artistic photo. Oh, is he doing a competition? Okay, he does things, he competes. Um, whoa, that's an intense photo. Holy penis, okay. It's still good. Some girls are into that. Some girls are into like a little provocative side, a little goofy side. Um, probably a little full of himself, but also he's a competitor, so I wouldn't like peg him as a person who's full of himself. Uh, oh, people from California are really intense. <laughs> I forget you guys are all intense bodybuilder and outdoor people. It's so interesting. So far it's good. Like, yeah, it shows that like you really like yourself, but that's not, necessarily something that a girl's like, no, he's too cocky. Cause it's not super too cocky. This photo may be a little, but it's in, he's in a suit. So like it makes up for it. Like if it, I'll, I'll find a cocky douche and show you guys when someone's a little too cocky. Cause he's kind of bordering it slightly, but um, I could just be judging him because of his physique is so nice. So maybe like in my mind, I perceive him as cocky. So if you're a guy who is conventionally extremely attractive like this guy, you have to show a softer side to you and you have to show a goofy side. So this picture of your face all decorated was a really good idea to show that you're not just a basic dumb bro, you know, cause it's, it shows talent. It shows that you are into things. It shows that you have a quirky side. That was a good photo selection. And um, this one's nice that you get in the pool. I would only include one photo of you and your junk flexing. So maybe just the flexing picture and I would take out this one. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Both of these photos like show that like you might be a little romantic cause you're looking off into the distance and kind of creating a picture. Cause he could have been douchey, but then he has enough photos in there that show that he, there's more to him as a person. I'm getting so in depth. I hope you guys are okay with these breakdowns. And I and try to apply these things into your profiles. Um, and yeah, try to see how you can incorporate who you are as a person and be able to document it well in a photo because it makes it's a little upsetting these days that being good at posing in photos taking pictures is really important to people's dating because I have a hard time. Like I always check people's social medias before I go on a date with them. And so just know that someone's probably looking you up before they meet with you to make sure that you're a real person. Oh, hi Chase. So you can tell who he is politically. I think, um, that's Hillary, right? I'm so dumb. Yeah, that's Hillary, obviously. Okay. And so you can tell like, 
like who he is politically and that's fine and he met a celebrity that's a famous person um this is a cute picture with him and his mom and people so you can see that he's nice he has a cute picture with a kid that's a really good thing to get people like it's probably his niece or something that's like a good one he's on crutches so he did something fun and crazy to get injured that's kind of fun um good face photo Oh, probably a little bit more smiling. See, this one's a silly nice one, which I like. Is he like the brother of the Clintons? Did I just come across? Oh, he's a lobbyist? Oh, okay, so maybe he's some like professional, so you can kind of get an idea of like who he is professionally. Because I'm like, that's a lot of pictures with the Clintons. How do you know the Clintons? Anyway, okay. Yeah, so nice, you can kind of get him an idea of what he is, but so far this is a pretty decent profile. I would suggest, see this is a big smile, but like smiling big in most of your photos and having a couple of like sexy off in the distant photos can be really nice because we want to get a good idea of what your facial expressions are too because people are really attracted to facial expressions. So if you show a slight variety but not goofy, does that make sense? Because you can like do a bunch of pictures like this and then like off in the distance and then like hee <laughs> like I don't know, you know what I mean? That could be nice. You want one picture to show like a goofy side. I think that that could be a good idea. I don't know other women if they are okay. I like knowing that a guy has a lot to his personality. <sighs> Zach. Zach, you fucked up. Ah, oh, this is one of the things that no one's gonna swipe on you for. If you have a random scenery photo, yes, that's a beautiful sunset. But I don't want to date or fuck a sunset. I want to fuck and date a person, okay? No sunset photos, only if you're in the photo. I want to date you, so you put your ass in that picture. Don't just take a picture of the sunset. Be like, okay, if I'm gonna put this on a dating profile, I need to be in the picture. Go stand in the fucking picture. No one's gonna swipe on this. And if you have it as your first photo, why? I just don't get, I don't get the logic. That's a good pretty first photo. Like again, you're in sunglasses. Um, have only one picture of you in sunglasses if you're gonna do it, but it's not. Don't do a, fa a, plus, a close up face photo of you in sunglasses. Um, we, we just wanna get a good idea of what you look like and we can't tell what you look like. And then he just has a picture of a boat. Yes, we understand you like pictures and you like boats, but I don't wanna fuck a, I don't wanna fuck a sunset and I don't wanna fuck a boat, okay? And then just the same photo. How are we gonna know what you look like, Zach? Come on. Ugh. Okay, there you go. That's cute. See, I literally, your attractive points went up instantly. Look at that beauty. Oh, ah, oh, ah, ah. Look, it's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, that should be your first picture. Take out the boat. Take out the fucking sunset. Only have one picture of you in your sunglasses. Ah, see, he's with his family now. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, see, a little goofy. See, he's doing, he's getting there. He just needs to delete. That one's cute, though. I would delete this one, this one, and this one. And just replace them with funnier pictures or more things of showing you doing what you like to do for a living or whatever. You know, that. there you go. See, now he's a good person, but I had to swipe through three, fo four photos before I decided to like think that you were, like before I got, I, I got a picture of who you are and what you look like. But these three, perfect. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is a mad flex, but it's a sexy as fuck mad flex. Ooh, this guy's just got it. He figured it out. Good job. Little goofy with his friends, a gorgeous smile, standing somewhere, but you can tell that he's doing something with his life. He looks like a student, a professor. He's a, I can't read what it says on his shirt, but he goes to UCLA. That's nice. It's good to know that he's educated, that he cares, and he has a nice smile. Oh, a little, little cup. Cute. It makes your hands look big. I'm like, oh, he has a big dick. I'm just teasing, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Him and his friend, him just chilling there. Him, These are nice, a lot of coffee. 
okay, good, good. Probably like one more picture with like a bunch of other people or like a hobby. But like so far, these are nice. Okay. Okay, he's uh, at the gym. His eyes, he has those crazy eyes going. I don't know about that. He's just like, like no, like the crazy eyes. We don't need the crazy eyes right now. And we can't even see your mouth. You're covering your face with your phone. That one's better. Front of the Hollywood sign. You go places, you do things. He's in workout attire. He's doing something. This one's a nice photo. You're in a cold place. You're at some sort of event. Good photo of you in a suit, looking good. Good, fo good photo to kind of like see your physique a little bit. Good photo to see your physique, but you you go places, you do things. Good, good job. Okay. Cute. See, you can see his body and he's somewhere and he's happy and he's smiling. And I'm like, oh my God, I can totally have a conversation with him. Um, I'm just like, yeah, he's cute. He looks good. Okay, good job. You're good. Nice. You're going somewhere. You're doing something. You're active. Good picture. Oh, you can get an idea of his body. That's good. And he's doing something really cool. He's in a leather jacket. Like it shows different dynamics to his personality. Good one. Goofy photo with him and his friends. See, this is a perfect profile. Good profile. Okay. <laughs> That's a really funny picture of your dog. But again, I don't want to date a dog. <laughs> I want to date a man. Ugh! Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Okay, okay, that's nice. You're covering your face still. We still don't know what you, mm, still covering your face. Like that could be a goofy picture, but it just comes off as weird because your last, like this photo alone with a bunch of amazing photos could be funny, but just because you're covering your face and just have a weird picture of a dog covering your face, doing awkward things, like it just doesn't really seem like you understand women um, way off into the distance. Like, see, that's a cool photo. Like that one's nice. You're smiling. We got a good kind of up close view of your face and what you look like. But no, I don't. Well, just like this is the same two photos and your mirror's dirty. So like you don't seem as hygienic when everything around you is dirty. If you're gonna take a picture of you in your room, make sure your room is clean because people are gonna stare at the background and people are gonna be like, Ugh, I don't like messy people, I don't like this. We actually barely got a picture of what your face looks like, but barely. And then a lot of your like body shot, I don't know, I just would spruce up your pictures, clean the room around you, show your face, stop covering your face with your camera. I don't wanna date a dog, I wanna date a person. Good up close face photo, weird angle, don't like that. Um, I wouldn't pick that. I would just have stuck with this one and then did a body one right away to like suck someone in. You gotta be like, I have a cute face and then I got a body. Like you gotta show us that you have more to you. And also like chin out photos, like in the human brain, it, it's perceived as aggression and you don't wanna ever make a girl feel like you're aggressive ever you don't want to ever give off aggressive vibes you never want to like just do anything that could perceive you as unsafe and that's kind of a very slightly aggressive see that one's cute so he should have just went from this one to the one in front of the car because it's a little quirky and then this one perfect this picture might ruin it for some girls like a girl could see that you look amazing in every picture and then one picture you give off like creepy vibes and then she's out. So be careful. Good one. Good body shot. Good up close shot. Nice with friends. A little goofy. I don't want to date, you know, I don't want to date Buzz Lightyear, but he's getting the picture and it's a good, nice face shot. Okay. He's good. Good face shot. Good body shot. Good face shot. He's doing stuff with his life. He loves his stuff. Salt Lake City, cool. I don't know why I'm in Salt Lake City. Oh, she's cute, but we're not doing women right now. Jesse's cute. Okay, no, mm. Mm. You look aggressive because you're going like this. Like, no, you look aggressive. We don't need, we don't need that and then you're not showing your full face. Face head on, not 
Like, we don't need all these weird angles. We want to see what we're going to look. When I'm, like, on a date with you, you're not going to be like this the whole time. Hey, how are you doing, babe? Because if you were like this the whole time throughout the date, but this is the vibe you're giving off with that picture. You're, you're making me think that you're going to be looking like this the whole time on the date versus, like, show me yourself head on. I don't know. I don't like that. Dumb. I don't want to date a car. I want to date a person. Stupid, blurry photo, not good quality of some cakes and baking. So what are you saying? Did you bake that? Is that your mom's baking? We're just confused. And then, what are you doing? It's a blurry photo of you like in a apron, but like it's not showing your face. It's a very bad photo. We still don't know what you look like. I don't even know what this kid looks like at all. This doesn't show you what people look like. This just shows that, that like, this is what this head on is what we want to see because I still don't know what you look like at all weird as fuck Okay, get rid of these two pictures Because we don't mind the filter photos, but just like how you guys hate it when girls just sit there and filtered photos So do we we hate filtered photos. We don't like that shit And so I wouldn't put that as your first one I would have done this one as your first one because you look super super cute and super super adorable um, this one is weird, aggressive, like I know your skin, you probably thought your skin looked good, but we could tell it's hella filtered or hella, hella like edited or whatever. And these two photos make you just look sad and like mopey. It gives off a mopey vibe, but this one's super, super nice. I would have done this one. Let's get some more pictures of you and some friends, get some more pictures of you doing fun things, um, paint a picture for her. I feel like if I was to hang out with you, you'd sit there and just be sad the whole time because people are trying to picture themselves with you while they're looking at your profiles. So looking at a guy, a guy just going. If you take pictures like that, I don't want to go on a date and sit across from someone that's going to be like sad the whole time. We don't, we don't want that. Pretty good photo, but that's his only photo. So no, it's nice but it gives off slight creepy vibes because you're just like, no, it's not a chill, look off into the distance kind of relaxed face. It's a, like not. And there's only one picture of you. No one's gonna, no one's gonna nothing. Mm, little artistic, actually kind of cool. Like, I don't know why, because you can kind of get a, he just needs two or three more pictures showing himself more, but these two pictures aren't bad. <clears throat> also, he shows us that like he does smoke, so a girl can decide if she likes or doesn't like smoking. But yeah, sorry. <sighs> oh, she's cute, but we don't see her face, Emmy. <gasps> Emmy, you have face hiding itis. See, that's the only picture we can kind of see her face well. You can clearly see what her body looks like and that she has hobbies and does things and has a cute dog. But she also has cover face itis because we don't see her face for like three photos. Come on, Emily. Okay. This is face itis where you only have pictures of your face weirdly up close. If you just do photos like this all day long, men, of just your eye, how are we? I don't want to just date your eye and your nose, okay? So these are cute but he should have just done a, like a more full body one see this one's perfect for his first photo i would take that one out and not zoom in on the photo i would show all the friends and show all the people and if you're nervous about hiding people's identities like maybe just blur out their faces but nobody's fucking gonna care if you take a picture with someone they know it's gonna show up somewhere on social media it's fine maybe he has a dog this one's a creepy angle because it's just like like no it's a little much Yep, nice, nice. He does things with his life. You can see what he looks like. Cute facial expressions, adorable. That looks like he loves his mama. He's doing good. Yeah, perfect, good job. Cute, good job. That's a gorgeous first photo. People are like, ah, it gets the awe factor with girls. Nice like bro picture with your bros. Cool bro picture. Good picture of you going somewhere and doing something, but I can tell that that's a younger photo of you. So maybe like update to your current age a little bit. 
in your current physique. But other than that, adorable. Good job, Nico. Cute. Cute. Kind of a first photo. It's pretty head on, but like I hope that he does a little better. Yeah, okay, he got better. But this like sexy smolder. People don't like the sexy smolder faces unless they know you. And because we don't know you guys, we don't want to date a smolder face, I promise. That's a cute one though. That one, mm, that's cute. Mm, face itis, face itis, red flag. Cute picture. Should have done a full body picture, a family picture, or like event picture right there. You guys get it now, right? Do you guys have a good idea? of what this is, so update things. Good, 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 good. Good profile. Good, 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 good. You have an idea what he does for a living and who he is. A little bit of face-itis, but like this one kind of makes up. Nah, he has face-itis. No, that one makes up for it. But yeah, he super looks super, super nice for the most part. Okay, so I think this is where we're gonna, oh, face-itis. Ooh, you're covering your face. Not a good smile. The first time we see your face, you're going like this. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna stop that and we're just gonna do a quick recap. I know that was a long time of me talking, but I hope you guys can get a good picture of what is attractive and what's not attractive. And if some of your profile pictures look like this, don't take it too harshly. Just take it as constructive criticism. If you were one of the guys in these profiles, um, nothing personal. I was just subjectively looking at it. And also, if you guys are sick of dating people on Tinder and you just want someone to jack off to, I'm your girl. <laughs> um, I have my OnlyFans information leaked below, linked below for you so that you can I'm teaching you guys how to get dates and then I'm also giving you guys other options to uh, enjoy yourself when you're alone. But yeah, check everything out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys wanna see more things like this in the future. And I hope I didn't offend anybody. <laughs> and yeah, I was actually really proud of most of the profiles that I saw. Like obviously I was being extra picky, but for the most part, even if you have one or two off pictures, just make sure they're not a scary or aggressive off photo and you're good but yeah i hope you guys liked that and i'm definitely that was really fun for me to do i got kind of carried away and did it for like a long time so <laughs> but i hope it helped anyway i hope you guys have a good night and enjoy yourself and bye-bye